Hey, so I've had a few people on Instagram asking me about my Kydex setup, and I've shown little bits of it here and there, um, but I figured today I would kind of show guys who are wanting to get into Kydex or kind of up their Kydex game. The tools I use, what I've found over the years to be really helpful and kind of streamline the process and just make everything more consistent. Um, one of the bigger things was I started using a t-shirt press. Um, this one got off Amazon. It's called the Power Heat Press, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, they make them in different sizes. <clears throat> I got a bigger one because I like doing bigger blades, swords, and that kind of stuff, but they make small ones too. Um, got a simple heating element. I use this uh, Teflon fabric. It's like a release fabric that they have for doing t-shirts and stuff but that keeps it from sticking to the burner. So I'll put Kydex in between the two layers of it. And then you simply squeeze it down. Um, I'll get a closer look at here, but it has a timer on it. You can set your temperature. And uh, yeah, I usually find like 330 degrees works best and you'll have to play around with the time, but right around a minute, minute and a half seems to work really well. Um, as a little timer goes off, take it out, and uh, then I'll show you the next part of the process. So this is the little controller. It's still warming up on this one, but you get the idea. So I have it set, it looks like I have it set for two minutes, um, and it would be at 330 degrees, but you can change that depending on your thickness and all of that. But yeah, really simple. Has a timer that goes off when it's ready. So these guys are what I use to actually mold the Kydex on the blade. Um, they're quick release vices. They're for like woodworking. I'll also put a link to those where I got those. I've got them different places, but this one I got off of Amazon. Um, I simply made some micarta plates you could use wood i like micarta because it's pretty rigid for how thick it has to be it doesn't have to be very thick to get a nice rigid plate um use molding foam from index thermoplastics it used to be index fastener but i think they're index thermoplastics now that's where i get all my kydex and stuff as well uh, but they have the molding foam works really well I used to use like the yoga mat stuff, but the professional stuff just works so much better and it's not, it's not very expensive. Um, but yeah, these are simple woodworking vices, just a quick release vise. I built these uh, frames out of steel. You could build them out of wood. I had the steel, I like how much more rigid it is. Um, but it's just a couple of legs here, mounted to a bench, vertical piece, and then the vise bolts to it from the back. Um, it's got a quick, quick action here. So you can slide it up and down, tighten it down. When you're done, simply use it, lift it up and you're good to go. I got two of them because I like to make the process a little bit more streamlined, but um, even just having one makes a big difference um, in how quickly, efficiently and consistently you can do a Kydex sheet. So. Yeah. Here's a closer look at the frame. I made mine out of angle iron and C channel, but you could really make it however you like. James Helm was the first one that showed me this design. He had done some out of wood, so you could definitely do them out of wood. But I got metal. And I like to weld, so this is how I made mine. It just bolts through from the back, kind of like it would under a bench. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit more insight into what I do here. And uh, if you like what you saw and you want to see more of it, please make sure you like and subscribe and share and that'll help going to uh, get this channel more views and uh, I'll keep putting out content for you guys. Thanks for watching.